Hi everyone, Sarah here from Sarah Hunt Frame Embroidery with another stitch for you for our stitch sampler projects. We're doing a little one on a piece of fabric in our hands. If you don't like doing it in your hands and you want to do it on a frame, I'm doing a version on that as well. And I'll try and do left-handed versions of the stitches as well um, where it's appropriate. So let's start on the frame. I'm going to use a perle thread in a probably a number seven embroidery needle um, and this is a great stitch for lots of different circumstances i use this so many times in my videos you would have seen this crop up if you've seen some of the other videos and we can do them singly we can put them together we can make shapes out of them though it's, it's just a great st great stitch to do so i'll do it singly first so i've come up in my fabric there so i'm going to go opposite and down and i'm going to make a loop now, if you're new to stitching and you're learning these stitches for the first time, you'll start to see some similarities in the stitches. You think, oh, well, I've done that movement before, certainly. And, and a lot of the time, there's just a very small difference between the stitches and it's got a different name. So once you've learned a few, you will find it easier to learn more because they, um, they're they based on similar moves, similar movements. And this is one of those. If you did the feather stitch video that we've done already on this sampler, this will look very familiar to you. So I'm going to make that little loop and I'm going to come up in the middle and a little bit below um, those two points there. And then I'm going to tension it towards me. We did this in the feather stitch. Just so we get that kind of nice sort of v-shape loop, loop kind of loop shape don't pull it too tight and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to finish that stitch on the feather stitch we came over here and we did another one and we alternated that we're actually going to finish it and we're going to come down through the back of the fabric to tie that loop down and that is a single fly stitch super easy stitch to do you can do it the other way if you want so you can come up and go to the left it doesn't matter which way you go left to right or right to left on that make your little loop come up in the middle there and a little bit below and then you need to tension that towards you if I tension it away we get a funny kind of t-shape which we don't want we're doing fly stitch they look like little flies that's the idea tension it towards me and then down through to the back to finish off the stitch so what we can do as well is do rows of those. We can join them up and we can make a nice decorative row of them. So the first one is exactly the same. Up and down. Make your little loop up inside. And then we go down through to the back. Now you can choose how long you want this little stem here. You can make a nice long one. You can do a little short one. So if I do a kind of one that's half the distance that I've just done, finish that off. And I'm going to come up underneath that first point there. And I'm going to work another one underneath that. So come across there, down the other side. And then now if you come up at the end of that stitch, inside the loop. So this is exactly the same, just doing another one that we've already done, but we're just doing it underneath. Tension that and then do that little stitch down through you to the back and you'll see that they start to join up and make a kind of like a fern sort of feathery kind of a look so this is great if you want to do some plants in your stitching you need a row of something like an undersea theme would be really good for this you could do your underwater plants tension it towards me do my little finishing stitch and then back up to the side down the other side up at the end side the loop back down to finish it off so you can make that as long as you like you can make these longer if you want it to get wider as you went down you can give them a little bit of form and I just want to show you one more thing that we can do with this so we're going to make a little leaf out of this I've done this lots of times on my embroidery project I think I did it on the flowers video um, great leaves to put with your silk ribbon roses so the, just going to start with a little pointed part to the leaf. So just a single stitch, just to give me the point of the leaf. And then I'm going to do what I've just done, but either side of that. And I'm going to follow the shape of this leaf that I've just drawn on. So I come up one side and I go down the other. Come up at the end of that little stitch that I've just put in. Inside the loop, tension it towards me. 
down through to the back one and I can do them nice and closed together so technically closed fly stitch because we're joining them all up now and there's no gaps but you can just see it's just another variation of exactly the same stitch that we did right at the beginning those single stitches but now we're just grouping them together we're making them into a shape and they make really good leaves because they sort of form that stem down the middle as well without even having to think about it so a great one for leaves if you want to do leaves i love this stitch for leaves you can be really accurate with it as well and make any shape that you want to just follow the outline where you come up and you come down so i'm getting wider now we go around the fat part of the leaf keeping this little tail of the fly stitch quite short so that the stitches lie next to each other you could have an open fly stitch leaf if you want to and have some nice effects if you just do the stitches a bit wider apart and then we're going to go all the way to the bottom just putting the last one in I'm just coming in slightly again just so that leaf rounds off and the thing you can do at the end for the last one is you can give it a little bit of a stalk if you want to attach it to something we'll make this one a little bit longer like so and we've got a very simple very easy to do um, embroidered fly stitch leaf so let's just do it in our hand on this little band sampler that we're making here. So you can do this in a bit more of a slow stitch way if you don't want to use your frame. Um, so I'm going to do this in a stranded cotton. I'm just mixing up my threads a bit just so you can see what they look like. And I've got three strands here. And then I'm just going to do these single ones first. So come up where I want to start. And I can do this again in one movement rather than the two separate movements that we have been doing. So I can go down the other side. You can go right to left if you want to find that easier then I'm just going to bring my needle up between those two points there and just up below inside the loop won't work if you don't go inside that loop just tension it gently towards me and put my little tail on and then I can bring it up where I want to put the next one let's come up over there we can do a little tiny one if we want to If you want to go down through to the back and then back up, that's absolutely fine. You can do it in two movements, but the good thing about doing it is your hand in your hand is that you can just do it from the same side. We can do them in a different direction. Come up there. Let me turn that round. It's easier to do this stitch in the same direction each time because you can tension it towards you each time. You can do it upside down or side to side but you've just got to remember just to tension it in a different direction so if you're not sure just turn your fabric or your frame around and then if I wanted to go over the edge if you want to use this stitch to catch down some fabric I can make a long tail on that let's come up there and then I can start to use that stitch to tie down let's go the other way this time so let's go that way Make sure it's inside the loop with a little tail on it. Stick it through to the back. Then I'll just show you how to finish off on the back. So I've got a backing fabric on here. So really nice if you want to finish your stitches on the back. And we just pick up a little bit of that backing fabric. We'll go around a bit of the stitching as well if you can. Just a couple of times. Make sure that that doesn't come through to the front. <clears throat> Do one more. Same spot. And then we can just take the needle through that loop, pull it tight and cut it off. So let's just quickly do a version where we put them together. We make that row of fly stitching. So I'm going to go down there to finish off that first one. And then you can come up underneath that ready to start the next one. So you can do it all in one movement. You haven't got to turn it over. So that finishes the first one and then I'm up ready for the next one. So I go down the other side come up at the end of that one there inside the loop tension that towards you 
go down and up the other side. If you're left-handed, you might want to come up that side down here and up here. Instead, you might just find that easier to mirror what I'm doing. So that finishes that previous one and this starts the next one. So really simple to do and just such a versatile stitch. You can do so much with it. So definitely learn this one. And then when you want to finish, you can just go through to the back. So if this is the first video that you've seen on this stitch sampler and you want to know what it is and what it's all about and how you can join in and how you can get going, you can check out this video up here. This is the first one um, and we just get the sampler set up and I do the first stitch for you. So do go and have a look at that if you want to join in and then do keep watching because there's lots of more stitches on the way.